Okay, so we're really focusing right now on treatments that relate to the critical requirement for hair stem cells to receive blood flow in order to receive oxygen and nutrients to get the hair to grow. And that's really what minoxidil is about. It's also what all of those anecdotes you hear are all about, like massaging the scalp or putting red light on the scalp. Although red light might do some other things, in general, heating or lighting of the scalp or massaging of the scalp is really designed to increase blood flow to the scalp. Now, the reason minoxidil works at all is because it is going to increase blood flow around the clock. And that's because people are taking it topically and it's seeping into the general circulation or at least is staying somewhat restricted to the hair cell niche or they're taking it orally and it makes it to that hair cell niche uh, below the follicle. When we massage our scalp, however, that's a transient thing. You know, I can massage my scalp right now. I'm no doubt um, increasing blood flow to certain areas. I'm probably decreasing blood flow to the areas I'm pushing down on, but it's all temporary. I don't know many people that can massage their scalp enough during the day or long enough during the day, rather, that it would sufficiently increase blood flow. 